You can add another state to the growing list of those that have constitutional carry, kind of like the founding documents say. If you want to know which one, stick by and watch this episode of Guns and Gadgets. Hey everybody, welcome back to Guns and Gadgets, your premier source for Second Amendment news. I wanted to bring a little good news into your life, uh, but before I get into that, the sponsor for this episode is shall not comply this is hot off the press brand new guns and gadgets shirts are in the shall not comply store i will have a link down below you can click that link and buy at your heart's delight they have my logo shirt the stay vigilant shirt this cool black and gray flag and what do y'all think about this skull design let me know what you think of the designs down below and you can click the link Thank you to Shall Not Comply for allowing me to be part of the team. All right, everybody, let's talk about Utah. Yesterday, the spokesperson for the Utah governor came out and said the governor will be signing the bill for constitutional carry. Utah will become the 17th state that has constitutional carry. Yes, some of those states that have it have a little work to do. It's not pure constitutional carry, but it's better than we have in Massachusetts. And uh, speaking of Massachusetts, there are now only eight states, Massachusetts is one of them, that are not shall issue when it comes to the permit requirement, which I don't agree with either. Uh, but uh, the, the new uh, constitutional carry law in Utah will take effect on May 5th, 2021. Of course, it only applies to those who are not uh, federally prohibited, and it allows any law-abiding person aged 21 or over to carry concealed anywhere in the state. Again, as long as they're not federally prohibited. Of course, groups like Moms Demand Action were trying to, to uh, nix this bill. Wouldn't They don't want it to pass. And you always get the same types of comments from the opposition saying that, you know, good crime's going to rise. You're doing away with the requirement of training. It's going to be the wild, wild west. Well, one of the statements that came out during this was from the author of the bill, uh, David Hingens, and he said that the three safest states in the union, all of basically all of North New England, Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine, all have constitutional carry. So that kind of goes directly against everything that the anti-gunners and the fear-mongering uh, commie moms, everything they say. Now, if you're keeping track, the bill passed the Utah Senate 22 to 6 and the Utah House 51 to 20. So solid support for this bill all around. And if you're somebody who travels, you'll still be able to obtain a Utah carry permit for reciprocity issues. But if you're staying in the state, you don't need it anymore. So there you go, just a smidge of good news. I am stoked about these shirts, guys and gals. I hope you like them. Uh, they are totally new designs. If you want Guns and Gadgets official gear, shall not comply is where you'll find it. The link is down below to make it easy for you. Click on over and check the shirts out. All right, guys and gals, thank you for your time. If you're interested in Second Amendment news, no matter where it happens, good, bad, ugly, or indifferent, this is where you'll find it here on Guns and Gadgets. Until we see each other again, be safe, stay vigilant, carry a weapon, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care, everybody.